Hello everyone, my name is Rituro, and welcome back to Blue and White, my video review, video diary, let's play of Football Manager 2014, and specifically with the Vancouver Whitecaps in MLS. When last we left off, it was a road swing, and you know how those are in MLS, but if you can believe it, after the one-all draw in San Jose, a 3-1 win at home against RSL, and then a one-all draw away to FC Dallas as we await Montreal in the Canadian Championship, which is our big featured match today, is this stretch of matches right here. Canadian Championship, MLS, Canadian Championship. It's going to be pretty nasty, but let's take a look at the highlights from these matches. First and foremost, a 3-1 win at home against RSL. Did not see that coming, uh, but I'll gladly take it. A uh, great performance from Stephen Batisher. Goodness knows he's been overdue to actually perform in his digital version. I mean, he's 3.5, which is very serviceable for a fullback uh, in the MLS level, and just waiting for him to get some solid form under his belly. Hopefully, this is the beginning of it. And uh, Nigel Rick Hooker, of course, having himself a very decent game indeed. But let's uh, enough talk from me. Let's go straight to the highlights here. Goodness knows, those highlights are far more interesting than uh, hearing me prattle on about them. Here we go. Vancouver in their white, RSL in their claret and cobalt, which is still a fantastic team nickname if ever I've heard one. Uh, first incident note is actually only a minute into the match here. Uh, Rio Coker with the ball is stripped by Saborio, and here go RSL on the break. Uh, Javier Morales with the ball on the left flank with a great cross in, looking for Sabo, does find him, but Kofi with the quick scrambled clearance to get it out of danger. Right back in comes RSL, though. Grab away from distance, snagged by Ousted. From the corner here, Tybert with the game's first goal in a manner of speaking, not quite the Olympico of Mane from previously, but a little dive. What's this little dive in the corner here? What is that? But uh, Beltran knocks it into his own net. It's an own goal, 1-0 for Vancouver off a set piece. So rare we get good set piece goals. A uh, good little through here for Plata gives it back to Grabovoy, to Beckerman, to Balchan. Beltran, there we go, to Plata, and Joel Plata chips in the air, and Saborio with an excellent header off the little chipped cross. Poor Marky in the box, allowing Sabo to get that header. Very uh, unfortunate, given the <laughs> the reliance I've been having on a dedicated central midfield pair of Miller, or not Miller, sorry, Demerit. Uh, tied with a weak shot there on Armando of Demerit and O'Brien, though I have been slowly rotating in Leveron into starting just because I need him to, you know, get some experience and get fit. And well, with the uh, Voyager's Cup duty coming up, you need that fitness and match experience. Speaking of match experience, though, uh, Kofi actually coming back in, displacing Bryce Alderson now that Kofi is over his injury and does a great ball here to Rikoku, who sets up Maddox, who rifles a shot past Armando, far post. Great take and goal, 2-1 Vancouver. Oh, you gotta love that. And Osted on the restart in the 77th minute. Gets the ball forward to Nuno Gomez, who comes on in his sub-duty. And Ramondo has to be careful actually not to handle it there. Chests it down and clears it right back downfield to Usted, who picks it right back up as we have some classic long ball, long ball lumping it back and forth. Usted straight back upfield, finds some quite fine Maddox, but Alderson does pick the ball up. It's it out to Tybert out on the left flank, who crosses it in, and there's Maddox with his second of the game. Nice little header. 3-1 at that point. That's all the scoring we would see. I have an average rating of 7.11, 7-11. Oh, you know it's good times when Alderson with a late free kick, trying to spark perhaps a fourth goal out of Kube, getting some time here as well. Like I said, getting these people minutes, getting them reps, getting them some first-team time just so we can get ready for challenges like the Voyager's Cup. Uh, Betasher actually gets just ahead of his man here, able to get before Plata. Because that would, Plata would have been away to the races had Betasher not nicked that ball away from him. Miller and Nuno Gomez play the 1 2 before losing out to Schuler, and Schuler flicks it ahead for Saborio, and Sabo gets right past his man. Horrible marking by Leveron, but thankfully Sabo puts it over the net, and nothing more comes of it, and that's the match. Uh, fairly even on the actual stat totals, but more importantly, 3-1 is the stat that matters, and that's a great stat for us. Then we go away to FC Dallas, and this is where, you know, away teams always struggle. But I was glad to see we uh, we were able to, as you'll see, claw back a point here. Now, the 19th minute, Eric Astley, who is still with FC Dallas in this version of reality, he has not been sent out to the San Antonio Scorpions, 
or uh, I guess waved and then signed with the goal. But I want you to take a careful look at what happens when Osley scores his goal, if it comes up, and I think it will. Something very, very strange <laughs> happens here. Uh, poor game for Tybert here, 6.2. Not in the best of form heading into this uh, Voyager's Cup match against Montreal. Off the opening kick, Dallas to possess, but Castillo gives it straight to Usted, and nothing further comes of that. Into the 19th minute now, throw in, lands the field of Luchin. Uh, Jacobson gets the ball forward to Watson, and Osley picks it up right there. Great pickup by Osley. Okay, we won't actually see it here in the live stream, uh, or in the actual live play, I should say. I saw something hilarious with Eric Osley, which I will show after this match is finished here. It's already 1-0 for FC Dallas, and they did quite well with the ball. Thankfully, Medi Bellucci here getting a rare start, as is Nicholas Mesquita. They try to keep people rested. Great save there by Fernandez. Mesquita rifled it, looking for top corner. Two quick cut chances on the day here. Only one goes in. Tyrant with the corner, looking for Demerit. Can't find him, but Medi Bellucci picks the ball up. Mesquita with another shot goes wide. Second half down, Mane now out on the field with Bellucci. As Kevin or Ken O'Connor getting uh, some time at central midfield. Again, getting the kids out, knowing that I want to have a good squad on the field. Getting a lot of the kids some minutes or two, trying to spread around the fitness. Great ball forward for Miller here in the 91st minute. Miller salvages a one-all draw, bringing him on late as a super sub. Not offside, says the assistant referee. Thank goodness. That is how it finished. Miller had to rescue the game at the death with a little help from Nuno Gomez. So thankfully, it, it was a close one. But we do manage to salvage a road point. Always a good thing to do. And that is, I believe, as close as we would get to stealing it right out completely. But uh, you got to like having Kenny Miller and Nuno Gomez able to come off the bench and really impact the game. I believe we're just passing the ball around at this point. The whistle should be coming shortly. Though Nuno Gomez had a decent strike there, just grazing the top of the bar. And there indeed is the final whistle. 1-1 one, one it ends. Now, I want to take a quick look, as I mentioned, at Eric Astley. What? What is this? How old is this picture? When did Eric Hasley have hair? Okay, red and white striped kit. Definitely not Vancouver and not Dallas. I don't think they have shoulder hoops. Do the hoops. Man, oh my goodness. Okay, so I think if it weren't clearly obvious from the baby-faced Russell Tybert on Vancouver's picture, it would appear the MLS photos do need some serious updating. Sports Interactive, update your photos. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Anyway, uh, as we prepare, well, there's only the one tactic train there, but ah, for now, that's fine. We get ready for our match against Montreal. Now, what do we have available here? As you can see, fitness has been fairly well managed here, though I am resting both Betasher and uh, YP Lee. I want to get some reps in for Franco Lewis. I may bring him off at the half, but I do want him to get a start. I want him to get some time. He has been actually performing well in training, is what I'm hearing from the coaches, so I am rewarding him here with some time. All right, let's uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, it's a actually a very familiar formation, isn't it? 4-2-3-1 deep, exactly what we are putting out here. They won their last match 3-2 against Columbus, and that was the last lineup that they fielded, so they fielded a lot of first-teamers. We'll see if they put on a reserve squad or if they're just going to be struggling for fitness. We'll see what we get here. Yeah, I should point out that one-all draw with a you know half-reserve squad is a uh, not too bad at all. So this is the away leg. We'll see if we can scare a goal here. Uh, Felipe is being told to be hard-marked. We'll also close him down. I don't want whoever is in that position to be running roughshod. Wenger, we'll keep an eye on him. And Bernadello, we'll keep an eye on. All right. Let's keep calm there. I expect a good result, everyone, because goodness knows I would like us to get that Voyager's Cup, and I would like us to be in contention for Champions League. Let's get into space. Let's stay on feet. I think we'll exploit the flanks. Yes. Good. All right. Here we go. Saputo Stadium and Tampa Bay Rowdy's boss has been spotted in the stands. All right. Interesting. Yeah, Franco Lewis does well to dispossess Justin Mapp. Good start for Franco Lewis. 
And this will be fairly even off the hop here, and Bernier showing a yellow card in the 18th minute. That's going to help us. Jabrovsky is an accomplished... <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what happens here. Bernier finds Felipe. Down go to Wenger, over the bar. We call that a clear chance. Hmm. Gambled the goal kick. Mr. Can't get it to Gomez, but Adekubi does well to hit it back into midfield. Can we tell for Bernier for Felipe? Steps past his man. Still has it, does Felipe? To Bernardello. Soon Kamara. Jabrovsky. Soon Kamara. Patrice Bernier. Justin Mapp finds Felipe, but the ball is deflected by Kofi, but not out. Bernardello to Felipe. Bernier finds Map. This is good build-up for Montreal. Map skips around his man. Saved by get no hits the post, they say. Well, that's, a, that's a fine composure there. And Kenny Miller's not having a good game at all. Alright, good job, Lewis. Let's bring on Beta Sure. Need some composure there. I think we'll stop exploiting the flanks here. Everyone looks composed and calm. That's good. Don't want to make any other subs here. Perhaps in advance of the game. Miller. They play without pressure. I'm not happy with your performance. Good! He's listening. Calm. I have faith. All right. Let's see how we do here. We have... A slightly more experienced right back. Okay, let's get Miller out of there. He's not having a good game at all. Uh, let's bring in Tybert on the left. Ooh, we could score an away goal here. That would be a famous, famous victory. So if we to the center. Let's, should we juggle? Yeah, we're going to do some fancy juggling here. We'll bring Mane in for Nuno Gomez and swap him and Tybert. Let's see what we can do here. Should we take a defensive stance? I don't want to concede. Map replaced by Smith. Two minutes of injury time. Oh, if we can lock this down. Felipe headed away by Kofi. And that's it. Nil all to Puto Stadium. A clean sheet. <laughs> Nicholas Gamble, the youngster, getting a clean sheet in his first professional start. You gotta like that. Good outing from Leveron. A surprisingly poor outing from Kenny Miller. That was a good result, boys. I am happy with that. 2-0 for... TFC or FC Edmonton, not really a surprise there. So now we got to go home and get a result. I think we can do that. Uh, Franco Lewis made his debut. Just ending this recent spat. Jabrovsky, well, enjoy. <laughs> oh, oh, cry some more. Columbus lost a key man. Interesting. All right, well, we'll move ahead into this FC Dallas match here, and we will see what the we can continue on our uh, our form here. John Hawksburg only Wallace. Yeah, it's an interesting option at left back, actually. Let's add him to the pool. Nine days of damage heal. Amadio um, twisted ankle for a month. 
All right, so this is the home version. So two matches back to back at home. Interesting. I think we can make a we can make the most out of this here. Let's get the first team options back in play here. Boosted to start. Betasher out right. Lee out left. Demerit in the middle. O'Brien at center left. Rio Coker. Mid right. Ryan Gersh. Actually, you know what? Let's bring in Ken O'Connor. I think he's importantly he's fit, and I want to have some more fit options in midfield for that return leg against Montreal. Uh, Nuno Gomez I brought off, so I'm going to put him in attacking mid. We're going to put, I think, Kuta Mane up top. We'll put So Fernandez is out, so we'll put Mesquita out right and Tyvert out left. Kind of a young attack, but we'll we'll make do. Uh, Liverone and Adekugbe can go on the bench, as can Alderson and Gershon Kofi. Lewis can go on the bench. I think uh, Bellucci and Miller could also go on the bench. All right. That should be a decent lineup to go against FC Dallas at home. So we're going to want a nice home result here. Oh, some stats. Ah, Victor Bernard is good for him. Paul Kearney, yeah, not interested. Ah, Christian Dean is back. Thank goodness. Some more options at center back. Might put him into that match against RSL. Or at the very least, we'll see how he performs, performs in reserves this weekend. All right, let's look at the league table here before we go into this weekend's matches. We're sitting in fourth with a game in hand on the leaders, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, Seattle bringing up the rear. I actually was uh, checking this earlier. If we go to the job security section here, if you can believe it, Ziggy Schmidt's job is highly under question here. Be seeing an end to the to the Ziggy Schmidt era. All right, see, this is the roster that was brought out last time. All right, I think we can I think we can handle this. I'm happy with that team. All right, so let's. Uh, I don't think there's anything really. Shocking about this. We know what Asley's gonna bring. The hairy Eric Asley. Oh, I still can't believe that picture. I cannot believe they left that super hairy picture. That's hilarious. Uh, close down Fabian Castillo, and since we're at home, I don't feel bad about telling everybody to tackle him hard. Javon Watson. Okay, I'm cool with that. Everyone, we are the favorites. Get out there. Expecting results. Good. Let's go control. I want to see us really take this game. Some goals would be nice. Wins even better. Asking a lot perhaps with Ken O'Connor in the midfield. Oh, an early card to Warshaw. Not going to say no to that. Shots are currently one apiece. Oh, Harry Asley. Look how young Tiber it is. So, oh, but Hasley with hair. <laughs> These pictures are so old. So, so old. Why have they not been updated? I know the FM14 is supposed to be a general, you know, polish update on FM13, but you gotta think that at least at some point you do a full photo update. All right, they seem composed. Keep going and we can still win. Much more to come, everyone. Nil all's okay, but I'd love to see us put a ball in the back of the net here. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Don't want my P. Lee getting injured. Ah, Kugbe, you're coming in. Just giving a warning. Mane's not doing too well up front here. I think we'll sub him out. K 
Kenny Miller in a forward striking role. And who else? I think we'll bring out who maybe Rio Coker for Gersh. So we have yeah. I think we'll do that. So we have a fresher uh Rio Coker for the second leg. I mean, we're controlling the match, which is good. Just nobody's putting the ball in the back of the head. I don't think I've even seen a clear chance until just right now. There's a good step up there from Demerit. What does he do with it? Get it to Nuno Gomez to O'Connor. Ken O'Connor. Finds Nuno Gomez, who chips it for Tybert. Good run for Tybert here. Oh, it's off the line with the defender, Mesquita. Saved by Fernandez. Oh, let's just take a look at that one more time, shall we? Oh, my goodness. Take a look at that again. All right. Tybert's shot. Oh, it did. It hit. Who is that? Oh, my goodness. That hit the hedges. It hit Matt Hedges. It was destined for the back of the net. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get forward here. Oh, no, 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 Gomez is injured. Not good, and that's all my subs, too. Four minutes of injury time. Time for both teams to steal one here. Watson's shot is in! No! No! Ah. Really, we can blame this all on Matt Hedges. He's a noggin getting in the way of what would have been Tybert's goal. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Down a player. Oh, thank goodness he's offside. And that's the final whistle. Javon Watson stealing one at the death. That, I believe, was unlucky, all things considered. Oof, not good. That was our game in hand, too, it looks like. Uh, that's not good. All right, let's see how bad the... Uh... Da, da, da. More than kind of good fortune. Six to eight days. Okay, that's fine. New Gomez stubbed toe. Uh, fine, we'll leave him to the physio. All right. Kimura is eligible to leave the disabled list. Boom. Alright. And if we take a look at our options here. Kimura is still out for another two to five weeks for his hip injury. Uh, Fernandez is almost back from his Injury. This is all good, positive stuff. Right. Oof. But the question is, how does that help us in our match against Montreal? Because I think O'Brien Demerit stay. So it looks like it's going to be Atacugbe or Leverone starting out left. And given a choice, I think I'll put Leverone out there. All right, O'Connor can take a seat in favor of Gershon Kofi. Uh, looks like Andre Lewis will come into attacking mid. Mane will take a seat. Darren Maddox will play up top. Tybert on the left, Mosquito on the right. Are we going to stay with that or bring Miller on? You know, I almost have to leave Miller as a super sub again, just because he's so versatile. In fact, I think I will. I can do that. I'm the manager. All right, Nicholas Gamble, and then I just need somebody at center, and I think I'm going to put Franco Lewis there. All right, I think we'll go with that. That will be the lineup we take into the second leg next time on Blue and White. My name is Arturo. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.